picking up Mark at the Phoenix Airport. We drove to the Bright Angel Trailhead in the Grand Canyon. On day two, after a pleasant night at Indian Garden Campground, we set out early in the morning for Cottonwood Campground on the other side of the Colorado River along the corkscrew, which is aptly named given the, what it looks like looking down from above. After arriving at the Colorado River, we crossed it on the Silver Bridge, which is the newer of the two bridges and is uh, just a beautiful sight to walk over the moving water of the Colorado River. After passing through Phantom Ranch, we began climbing up uh, the Bright Angel Canyon towards the Cottonwood Camp. We arrived at Cottonwood in about the middle of the afternoon and set up camp. The next morning, we got up and began our climb up the North Kaibab, which is very steep, headed up uh, towards the rim after Cottonwood. We are at the infamous Supai Tunnel. Look at that man in shorts. Look at those white legs. <laughs> Disregard the huffing and puffing. Awesome. All right. Here we are. It looks pretty short, about 50 feet. No need for a headlamp here. All right. A little rest stop here. Looking down canyon where we started out below this morning at uh, Cottonwood Campground. We're about uh, 45 minutes from the rim or so. And uh, here comes Mark coming, down. coming up the trail. Coming out to the check out the Coconino Overlook. Oh my. Wow. Like this spot? Yes. <laughs> Looks like a lunch spot. For lunch at the Coconino Overlook, I had liver pate on flatbread, one of my favorite new trail recipes. Just a short time later, we arrived at the North Kaibab Trailhead and immediately started finding our way towards the yurt. Wow, look at that. It looks pretty nice. That must be the wood storage. We've got our own snow shovel, trash cans, picnic area with fire pit. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is the yurt. That's the card table and chairs. Wood stove replete with wood. And a rug. And that's it, my man. Looks like home. Pretty Spartan. Ooh, laundry facilities they should advertise. Laundry facilities. Nice skylight. Look at that. Beautiful. It'll be great. Yes, it will. A little reading material. Boy, it feels warmer in here already. Well, the important question, Mark, what side of the yurt do you want to sleep on? Next to the stove. Next to the stove? <laughs> okay, you got it, man. We slept very comfortably that night on the floor on our sleeping bags and pads. It was warm enough with the wood-burning stove going that we really didn't need to cover up all that much. We couldn't see the flames in the, in the wood-burning stove, of course, but when opening the door and feeding it, uh, it was a very pleasant sight to see. Okay, we're on the north rim, a little trail that uh, goes around by the campground. It's Mount Humphreys and uh, San Francisco Peaks off in the distance here in the morning light. My buddy Mark, enjoying the view. What do you think, Mark? This is spectacular. Yeah, this is a pretty cool place. Little point here. Remember, a hundred people have died from falls in the Grand Canyon. Okay. <laughs> About the top hour of hiking on on both the North Kaibab and the Bright Angel Trail, we had uh, icy conditions. Uh, not bad enough that we had to use crampons or uh, cleats or anything, um, but we still had to be careful picking our way down, up and down the mountain. Coming down off the rim, the trail is very, very steep and uh, goes through some um, real regular switchbacks as it makes its way down the red wall. Mark took the opportunity at the Manzanita rest stop to wash up a bit in the Bright Angel Creek. I used my tent on this trip, which I don't often do, uh, because hammocking is not allowed in the Grand Canyon on trees. So uh, I took my tent and used it in what's called the fast pitch mode. 
Mark put up his tent, which prevented any of the mice that bothered me that uh, the knights at Cottonwood from getting into his tent, which was a smart move on his part. Day five was continuation down the North Kaibab towards uh, Bright Angel and uh, the Bright Angel campground and uh, Phantom Ranch. Which is just about a, uh, a mile south of the Cottonwood campground. And uh, we, were, we hiked part way in on the way up. Our legs just didn't have enough oomph left. But uh, on the way down, we thought, well, we got to do it. And it was well worth it. What a fantastic spot. We were just speculating on what this big mound that the waterfall is falling on, what that's made out of. It's a combination of dirt and rocks and moss. Uh, but this is just spectacular. So we went up the path that goes behind the falls. And uh, this is the view. So we are actually behind the waterfall right here. Dropping down right in front of us. You can see the, uh, the east rim of Bright Angel Canyon on the other side over there. And you can see where the water hits the structure. It's uh, pretty impressive. And on the right side, this big limestone canyon. What do you say, Mark? I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm in awe. It's beautiful. We got to see a small mule train crossing the Black Bridge uh, when we were doing a little hiking. Uh, down near the Colorado River near Phantom Ranch. We also got to see some uh, kayakers that stopped for a rest at Phantom Ranch. Uh, they were on a 10-day, 280-mile trip down the Colorado River. Uh, quite an ambitious undertaking. Sorry to get right out from under his paws. Does anybody not want to be on YouTube? I'm good. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Sumner Butte. Nice morning, huh? Beautiful morning. Looks like a granary. And there's the grinding stones. Our talkies. It's an intact one with the grinding stone itself. And that looks like a partial open there. But, uh, here we are, the Indian Islands, Cliff Dwellings, in Clear Creek Canyon, and the Grand Canyon. After viewing the Indian Ruins, we hiked back to our campsite on Clear Creek, which uh, in my mind is one of the best campsites in the Grand Canyon. Home sweet home. We're on the Clear Creek Trail. That's the campsite in the, in the canyon below us. We're a little winded. We just came up those uh, switchbacks down there. Did the climb out of the canyon. Fresh this morning. And now we're Headed out. I was a little surprised to see the cottonwoods still in full color in Phantom Ranch. We've had uh, a fairly warm fall and uh, there were still leaves on the cottonwood trees. Here we are having rim to rim tequila. We make a poor man's margarita. Phantom Ranch. Grand Canyon. A little stir. <laughs> Grand Canyon. Cheers. Awesome trip. Cheers. Cheers. Best margarita I ever had. We got up bright and early for our last hike out of the canyon on the Bright Angel Trail and crossed the Silver Bridge, uh, headed uh, south in the pitch black, even though we had our headlamps. Well, this buck doesn't uh, seem too awfully concerned about our presence. As long as he doesn't turn around and gore me, we're good. That would not be a good way to start my day. Our timing was very good coming out of the canyon. There was uh, a low cloud ceiling right at about rim level as we were ascending out. Our trip complete, we returned to the Jeep and uh, made our way back to the Phoenix airport where Mark returned to Connecticut. I